Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today's video will be Yardy Yana. I just started with the video. <laughs> Are you over there yawning? <laughs> today's video, I'm going to be doing a, a small little what? <laughs> a small haul. A uh, couple of well, one Black Friday. I would say title in a way, because it was it's technically it was technically like an early Black Friday deal for it. Oh, the one that was mine. Well, ours. I wanted to see it too. You but, know what I mean. Um. You want to tell them how you went an hour to find everything also? An hour. Yeah, you went an hour away. To oh, find everything else. I loved you, man. It took me an hour to find everything oh. else. I was like, what? Uh, see, yeah, some of this. I did have to go to like three different Walmarts to find, and yeah, so did a little hunting trip today, and some not every not all this is from today, but some of it is. So we'll start with the non movies. Found this at the last Walmart that I had went to, and it's the A Nightmare on Elm Street hoodie. And and then pants. So now I can either wear it together or if I just want to wear it separately with one of my Nightmare on Elm Street shirts, I can. Split. Uh, they only had it in the gray, unfortunately. I wish they were black, but... No, I like the gray. You like the gray? Yeah. kind of prefer it to have been black, but gray's fine. Uh, so next, uh, got three titles from Redbox. I went looking for Don't Breathe 2 because I think I'm just going to get that one from Redbox. Um, whenever it does become available, hopefully to purchase soon. Um, but I did end up finding three that I've been wanting to check out and looking for. First off, all these are DVDs. They did not have the Blu-rays for any of them, which one doesn't even have a Blu-ray. Um, and that is, first up is Joe Bell. Uh, remember, I had the Blu-ray for this on Amazon to get, but I figured that I, this isn't something I needed to have on the shelf. I feel like save some space, just do it this way. Next is Naked Singularity. Did not have the Blu-ray for this in the red box, but this is a screen media title. I've been wanting to check this out, but I did not want to pay a ton for it. So, uh, with the $2 off, I paid $1.99. So, that was my $1.99 title for the $2 off. And then lastly, the one I was uh, had been looking for the last couple of times and they hadn't had it out to, to buy yet. They finally put it out to buy and that's small engine repair. I noticed that they finally put it to come out once they towards sometime next month, maybe towards the end of next month. Uh, but it's a DVD only, so I would have got it this way anyways. So it didn't really matter. <laughs> uh, but this has been a red box for a lot, a lot longer now. Uh, I don't know if it went to theaters. If it did, it was probably very limited. Um, because I don't even know if our theater got this. Mm -hmm. did not. Um, so, but I remember seeing a trailer for it and wanting to see it. So, finally found it at Redbox. Or, finally was available to buy at Redbox. Okay, let's see. Next, went to Best Buy. That's an hour away from us closest one we've got. They had no Black Friday stands out. I guess they had done been gone through. Um, they did, their movie section was a mess. They had a lot of movies in the wrong spots. They had, um, like, for instance, uh, say Snake Eyes, they would have, they had like Blu-ray and 4K copies all together in one big row, like stacked behind each other. So you'd have to dig back to find the 4K um, or dig back to find the Blu-ray if you wanted the Blu-ray. 
uh, depending on how they was put in the row. Don't know why it was such a mess. I don't know if maybe they were just throwing things back up on the shelves from where they did have this, the stands. But I only came across one title that I needed, it, that I was looking for at that point. Uh, I was looking for like, On the Rocks, but they did not have that on Blu-ray. Um, at the time, I was going to get Don't Breathe 2 on 4K. Uh, they did not have that in either any format. Uh, almost got the Green Knight, I believe it was called, but uh, the A24 film. But it just didn't really feel like a title I would watch at least more than once. So even at $10 for the 4K, I didn't want to do it. But this one I did want to see. It looked good. And it did seem like something I would watch multiple times. Um, and that is Glenn Close and Mila Kunis in Four Good Days. Um, remember hearing about this? This is the vertical title, which is good because I do enjoy their that label now. Um... But it just looked good from the tra really gr uh, good from the trailer, and you know Glenn Close can't go wrong there, and Mila Kunis is is good too. So definitely look forward to uh, watching this eventually. I was noticing a little bit of damage on the slip, but nothing major. You will live. They were all kind of. They only had three copies, and each one had a little bit wrong with it. So. But, yeah, so, happy to own this. Glad I could at least find this one. Uh, so, it was $13.99. I think it's like $12.99 on, on Amazon, but I wasn't price matching for a dollar, so. No. <laughs> like some people we know. <laughs> yeah, like some people do. I'm not going through all that trouble getting a manager just to price match for a dollar off. Uh, and these next two are from Big Lots. Um, they're probably going to be Dollar Tree titles. Um, because it's probably part of the Dollar Tree run fixing to probably come out here either this week or, or the next. But went ahead and grabbed them because I don't know when mine will put them out and what will be left when I do find them. Both these sounded really good up my alley. And that is Pierce Brosnan in IT. These are the Canadian releases, but doesn't bother me any. And then, uh, Anthony Hopkins, Colin Farrell, and Jeffrey Deaton Morgan in Solace. Uh, not much more. Didn't pay $3, so didn't pay more than, uh, much more than the Dollar Tree would have had him for. So, that works for me. One of the big ones that me and my wife was looking for, because we love, uh, I love this movie. She likes this movie. She loves the second and third one more than this one. But this one's my favorite of the franchise. And that is the upgrade to the uh, first Scream here on 4K. <laughs> uh, I think this is just the 4K disc. But that's okay because we anyway. we'll keep the Blu-ray on the shelf because it's in a collection with the second and third one. I know she's going to keep the second and third one on the shelf anyway. So it doesn't bother me that this is 4K only, so, um, and no, this is not the clear Blu-ray case, I'm actually glad it wasn't, I was hoping they would have the actual black 4K cases and not the stupid clear Blu-ray case that people want to charge a out the butt for, because it's so rare, but yet, you can simply just buy a blue, clear Blu-ray case and stick the 4K disc in if you want it to be that special. But, uh, and fake it. <laughs> but, um, yes, yeah, so happy to own this, finally. Uh, I did price match this at Target for 19 Best Buy didn't, did end up having one copy left for 19 but, um, I just price matched it at Target for 19 so. Next, we got this in the mail. It's one of my wife's favorite Christmas movies. I do enjoy it myself. First time in the Blu-ray, and that's Christmas with the Cranks. She wanted this. I think we pre-ordered this pretty quickly after it finally popped up on Amazon. As soon as it popped up. Because um, we do both enjoy this. We will probably, now that we have it in Blu-ray, be watching it probably sometime soon, knowing my wife. 
That and Elf and Family Stone. <laughs> so, uh, which she still needs Family Stone on Blu-ray, but... They need to release it. <laughs> Have a day. <laughs> but, uh, be happy to finally own this on Blu-ray. We'll be doing some more upgrading at some point, but we're kind of holding off on a lot of upgrades unless it's stuff we love. The next title is the title that me and my wife, I was excited for. Then we saw she saw the trailer for it in theaters, and she got excited for it. Um, I originally had watched Shang Chi, and this kind of got that kind of got me moved to watch this. Um, so I'm hoping it's good. And that is Snake Eyes on 4K. Uh, I did price match this for ten ninety nine. It was twenty seven ninety nine. So uh, definitely price match to get the uh, seventeen dollars off. Um, Cause you know I've heard it's okay. So you know just in case we didn't love it. Um, you know, I didn't want to pay $30 for it. So, definitely price matched. And this was what I was talking about being sort of the Black Friday pickup because, uh, well, one of the Black Friday picks up. I did pick up the Zack Snyder Justice League cut. Um, but I'm not showing that off in this video. Uh, but yeah, so happy to own this. Uh, we'll be watching this soon. Not sure when, but soon. This next pickup, uh, I did price match this as well. It was like fifty three fifty six, and I price matched it to forty six. Um, and it's the complete series of Younger. This is a show my wife wanted. I don't know if she's even seen an episode of this. Have you seen an episode what? of this? No, not yet. No, but she wanted it. It has so, Hilary Duff, so because it has Hilary Duff, so. Um, it just come out too. I thought it just a little while out. ago, yeah. Um, but no Blu-ray, so if you want it, you guys get the DVD. Um, unless of course they sell so many of these, they decide to put it on Blu-ray, then I'll be mad. But we'll see. <laughs> if they do bring it to Blu-ray, we can't get it right away. <laughs> Uh, the next three are the uh, at least two Walmart exclusives. They're the other one you can get on Amazon. Um, I'll show the one you can get on Amazon. Uh, the Hallmark titles. Um, first up is Christmas She Wrote. They did have, at the third Walmart I had went to, they did have this uh, with slip covers. I try to find something to put, with, to do this, the slippy on if you want to say but I couldn't find anything uh, they didn't have as much to choose from as like even our Walmart well our Walmart don't have a lot but because they're but they have stuff that I'm interested in they just don't have it out this the one up there just didn't have a lot they didn't they weren't missing a ton they just didn't have a ton uh, of media so um, but they did manage to have these um, but I did notice, though, a lot of the slips on these were pretty damaged, so I'm not too upset about not having a slip for that one, but that one you can get on Amazon. These two, I think, are Walmart exclusives. Um, I've not seen it on Amazon. Um, that is Candace Cameron Bure and Warren Christie and If I Only Had Christmas. It took me three Walmarts to find this one. Um, ours didn't have these for the longest time. And then when they finally put them out, they just put the spot for them out without the movies. And then when they finally put them out, they put everyone out but this one. So then when I went to the one a little further away, they had all but this one. <laughs> and then when I finally went to the third Walmart, which is just a little bit further away from that one, they finally had cop two, I think two copies left of this one. So I grabbed one. Um, happy to own this, especially because as of right now, it's only at Walmart to, to get it, and it did come with the slip. This one I was able to do the slippy on because I got my 
uh, daughter a movie. Um, but it's time for us to come home for Christmas with Lacey Chabert. And I don't know who that guy is. But uh, had to add this to the Lacey Chabert Hallmark collection. When I originally got like I said, it was just that. So, because I got it here at our Walmart. And so when I saw they had the slip, I thought at least I get the slip for, uh, had the slip for these two. So, um, got that one, got those took care of now. They did have two others, but I wrote, I wasn't interested in them. One was USS Christmas, I think, and then some other, uh, Country Christmas one. I can't remember the title. But wasn't ones that I really was interested in. Next is the one I got my daughter. So I can get the slip cover for the one. And that is Elliot. Uh, we watched this before. Um, but she don't remember it. Because <laughs> it's been a little bit. So uh, I thought her she'll probably remember it once she actually. I put it on and let her watch it. Um, so yeah, she was, got that for her, I figured she'd like that, it was only five dollars, so. Next, uh, let's see the last. All these are big lots, so let's do this one, this is the one Walmart. This was the new release for this week of me filming this, which is... The week of the 17th. Um, had to add this to the collection because it's Nicolas Cage and that's Prisoners of the Ghost Land. Um, look forward to, to checking this out. I heard it's pretty crazy. Um, so definitely look forward to checking it out. Just uh, hopefully a crazy out there performance by Nick Cage is all I'm hoping for. So, But this is my lone big pickup i wasn't interested in candy man i did not like that movie um and jungle cruise i just thought was okay and the only th only copy of jungle cruise our walmart got in was like the 33 dollar exclusive one they did not have the 29 dollar one which i know it's not a huge difference but for a movie i was just okay with i didn't want to spend over that much money um so I just decided just to pass on. I probably won't get in it. Um, so, but the rest of these are from Big Lots. They had gotten some movies in. I don't know if these are part of their Black Friday movies. If they're still going to put a stand out with more movies, I'm not really sure because usually they'll have like a black stand put up for Black Friday titles. Um, they don't have that right now, but I noticed they did put these out, which was new, so I'll have to check back either next week or the week after and see if they've put any stands out. But I did grab uh, the two Mr. Kissels. This was a pickup for my wife. Um, I have some interest in it. It's uh, a lifetime type movie though. Yeah, but it's it's a lifetime type movie, so it may be more of her alley, but I've seen it already. Uh she wanted it so was able to find it for three dollars. Next is a film starring Aaron Johnson, Imogen Poots, and Daniel Kalua, and that is Chat Room. This is also a screen media film. Um this does have a Blu-ray, but I probably, even if I love this, I'll probably just keep it on Blu-ray. Um, I won't, probably won't ever upgrade this one. Great cast on it, though. Next is Marauders. I remember watching this, uh, and I enjoyed it. I enjoy it. Good heist film. So. Love my heist films. Could not remember if I own this. I want to say I don't. So I grabbed it. It's Trespass with Nicolas Cage and Nicole Kidman. And. Uh, Kim Gideon. 
Ben Mendelsohn. Uh, that girl that looks familiar, but I don't know her name. Off the back of looking at this. It's a, a film by Joel Schumacher. So, um, we'll see. Nick Cage. So I had to add it to the collection. Because I, I know I have it on DVD. Because it's in a collection with Stolen and Bad Lieutenant. Or something like that. So, I still remember, couldn't remember if I'd already upgraded it or not. Um, next, Drive Hard with the Slip. Just looks fun. I really, I'm really getting into the shorter movies. Um, nothing against the hour and 40 plus films. It's just, they're getting harder and harder to want to get the oomph to watch <laughs> um so they've got to be something really i'm really really dying to see um for me to really get into them anymore and the last one here for the video that i picked up a uh, film starring jason statham mickey rourke alexander skarsgård and michael shannon in 13. this did not have the slip unfortunately I wished it did, but it it is what it is. Uh, happy to own it. Don't think I, <clears throat> I didn't remember owning this one. I, think, I remember wanting it, but I don't think I ever picked it up. Um, of course, sometimes I get confused because the Canadian covers look different from the U.S. covers sometimes, most of the time. So, um, but yeah, look forward to checking this one out. Uh, I think it's pretty short as well. All these are pretty short. Um, yeah, ninety-one minutes. So definitely great run time so look forward to checking that one out so that is everything for this picket video i do believe i don't think i forgot anything did i mm -hmm. so please comment like and subscribe hit the bell be notified for our videos and we'll see you all in the next one